Okay. So then now I am executing this one. See this one seventeen dot html. How to create a dev right? Dev ID equal to res one. Now you can see. Okay, axis smaller than y. So if axis bigger, so then for suppose thirty. If for suppose if our value is thirty, so then now you can see axis not smaller than y. Okay. So this is the way. If this condition is satisfies, if this condition is satisfies, this block of code will execute. So if it is not satisfied, if this condition is not satisfied, automatically it will come to the else statement. Automatically it will come to the else statement. So the next one is if else is completed. If, if else if else if right. Else if right, so then else if also we have to use a condition. Else if, so here also we have to write the condition. Okay, so then here, so y greater than x, y greater than x. So then, so document dot get element by id x is y is greater than y is or x is smaller than y. So both are same conditions, right? Both are same conditions, right? So we can change this one. Okay, x is greater than y. Okay, x is greater than y. Else, else. So when we write this else condition, so what is the possibility here? What is the possibility? Tell me anyone, either uh, Teja, Pavan or Ramesh. So when you write this else condition, so now in the first condition, x is less than y. Okay, x is less than y. So second statement is second statement is y less than x. Okay. So that means so first condition y y must be if y is greater greater than x that statement will execute. So then second statement so y, x is greater than y then so then second statement will execute. Right. So then my, when you write the third statement the else statement. When is there any possibility? Why greater than x, sir? Why? Greater than x. So then first statement is fine now. Why greater than x? Yeah, is so x less than y, y less than x, and else if y greater than x is a condition also. No, y greater than x means so y is y is greater than x, right? So y is more, right? So then first statement is satisfied, right? Yes. Hi, else if, if there's default formation. Uh, no, no, no. So what type of statement? What may be? So if both are equal, right? If X and Y are equal, then else statement will execute. Otherwise, if you can write the greater than, if you can write the else than, if you can if you can reverse those statements, so both the first and second statements only satisfied. So what we are writing here, first statement, so Y is more, more, Compared to x. So then first statement will execute. If you can write either greater than or less than. Okay. If you can reverse the condition here also. If you can reverse. So again else if. So you can write like this. Y greater than x. So first statement will execute. Not coming to this one. Right. Because of first statement. First statement already satisfied. See in the, in the conditional statement. If one condition is satisfied, so the entire the entire statements it will come out from that block. 
okay so it won't execute another condition it will in the if statement either in uh, in this uh, in the conditional statements it will execute only one statement it will not execute multiple statement okay here this condition is satisfied if we can write this one now. if we can write this this way so the only the first statement it's already satisfied because of so if you can write this one and this one, so there is no use. All right or not? So, so we have only another it, default statement. What is that one? So if the both was, are equal, if the both are equal, then only so this will work. Okay. So then X and Y are equal. <coughs> what happened here? Happening in the of this one. Else it's space, sir. Yes. Okay, else if yeah. else if space we get space in the essence. Okay. Not so good. Okay. Okay, if it's no, this one also, also one. And this one. If a condition, then else if a condition, so then else. So then what is the problem? What is the mistake here?
We'll check that one. Why it won't work? Mm -hmm. Okay, we will check later that one. Okay. Sorry, sorry. So this is the one. So then it's the one. So we have a space between this one. So that yes. is what it is asking. X and Y are equal. Equal. Okay. Now this is the word. This is working. So then if we are having, so then both are equal. So then else statement will work. Okay. Else statement will work. So there is no other condition possibility. But suppose if you are having this one, Y is greater than, so then this will work. First statement will work. <coughs> Okay, so then if x is more, so then x is 50, then second statement will work. Okay, so then, so if both are equal, so we are having only these possibilities. Okay, okay. okay. so this is the one. So in this condition, in this conditional statement, so if the one condition is satisfied, then remain condition, all those condition is terminated. So the, uh, those conditions will not check. If the condition is, uh, first one is okay, so then it will terminate from that one. Completely it will terminate from that block of code. Okay, so it won't check second condition and third condition. So if you can write the 100 condition, it won't check. Okay, it will check if the first condition is satisfied, so then it will come out from the entire block. Okay, if the first condition is sati not satisfied, so then it will go to the second statement. Okay, so the next one is, so the next one is switch. So this switch case statement is an alternative to the if else and if else statement. Okay, if test a variable or expression for a series of values which will be defined as a different cases for each case a proper block of code will be defined and if the variable value matches some cases so then the block of code after that case will be executed will get executed so basically so you for if and uh, if else statement we are writing the number of lines right so so to overcome that one to overcome that one so alternative of if condition so we can use the switch statement we can use the switch statement so in this switch statement we have one default block if any condition is not not satisfied if any case is not satisfied okay so then we can use the switch statement uh, switch statement at that time okay so now first we can check the expression so then first we can check the expression so if the expression is satisfied if the expression is satisfied so then we can execute the cases if the first case if that is okay so then that code is that block of code is executed then again it will come to that it will come uh, it will uh, terminate from the switch statement okay is the terminate from the switch statement so then if those statements, if those cases won't work, by default, we have to write one block of code, like else statement, okay? So then that will work, okay? Now here you can see it here. So we are checking a date. What is today's day? Then after that, if the day is okay, then we are writing. Here we are checking the six statement, six statement. 
So, but previously we can check uh, only three statements, right? So, either greater or smaller. So, that type of thing. So, we are checking. So, here we are checking the six cases. We are checking the six cases. First, we are getting the value from the date. Copy. So then itin.html. So it's a switch is a alternative of alternative of if condition. Okay. So what we are writing that d equal to new data. Okay. So what we are getting? So alert can see the D. Sorry. D. Hey, this is the today's date. Okay, Monday, November 21. So this is the JavaScript date for that. Okay. So the next one. So we have to get the day. So what is today? D dot get day. What happened? Negative four. It's a function, right? Today is what? Why? Because today is Monday. If it is a Sunday, we will get the zero. Okay? If it is Sunday, we will get the zero. Okay? Now you can see. Okay? First, what we have to check? We have to check the how to check the expressions okay d dot get a okay switch is closed so then case what default by the this one so then document dot get element element by id so then res1 dot inner html equal to so if it is today is monday so then break or how to use the break to terminate the loop okay so then again same thing case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 case 6 so then finally default one okay so this is the two choose j so then j3 Wednesday so then except for Thursday so then except five and Friday Friday Saturday is so here default one default okay default so then document that so automatically came out from this one today is sunday okay so this is an 18 dot html today is monday or suppose if You can pass the five here. Right. Okay. So if you can pass zero here, first it will check the expression. Okay. 
Our default is not working. Default. Okay. Well okay. So this is a way we can execute the switch statement. So it's an alternative of if statement. So then if you want to execute the multiple statement, if you want to execute the multiple statement, so switch is the switch statement is the best option. So every time we cannot check the condition here, only one time we are checking. Only one time we are checking. So it won't check. So so whenever we are giving directly, it is coming to the zero H statement. Okay. Directly it is coming to this one. It won't check. So line by line. Okay. So compare to if and the switch statement, switch statement can execute quickly. If statement every time it is checking the conditions. Every time it is checking the conditions. If and else if, then again, if you are writing the if yeah, again, so it will take time. So that's why. So if you are having the multiple statement, so we can we can check this switch. So if we are having so conditions only two conditions, if we can check only two, so then we can check with the if statement. Okay. So these two are the conditional statements. So then remaining tomorrow we can check the looping statements. Okay. For row while loop, do while. Loop. Okay, so from tomorrow onwards, we can check, we can do the smaller, smaller tasks also. Okay, clear? So, any doubts still now? Ramesh, Pavan, and Ravi Teja. Sir, why we use uh, this in my function? Sorry? Uh, we yeah. use in the in input data, and if you use on uh, change event, uh, something on, uh, no, on uh, 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 use uh, this function, uh, this. Uh, so uh, why will you do this? I don't get it. Can you repeat again? Oh, uh, so uh, on the input data we got uh, on my blur on my event on my yes. yes. Okay, we use on uh, square bracket function and then function we use this this uh, event. Uh, yeah, this this, one, uh, this uh, yeah this uh, this keyword right? Yes, sir. this keyword. Right? Why you are asking like this? See, basically, yes. this is, yes, so it will work when we use this keyword. So it will work only current input. It will work current input. Okay. So now you can see, so this is the 16.html. So you can see 16.html. So same thing. So where is this one? On focus, again, if you can use this one, so somewhere. So here also we can use for select also. Okay, so when we want to use this keyword, so it will uh, it will work all these functions if you can submit at once. Okay, so now see, so it will work only for this current element only. So now uh, this on focus, so on focus my function we are calling multiple times, right? So for select also we are calling. Okay, so then if you want this one, so then it will work this one also. Okay, so that is why. So which element we are working? So current element only, we, it is taking, it is considering the current element only. Okay. So that is why we are using this. Okay. So this okay. means current element. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Please. So then okay. any. Okay, then fine. So we can come tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Okay.